843, welcome back to Breakfast Television on City. Brian Keating's back, our world adventurer, our friend of Breakfast Television. We're going to Antarctica this time. And full disclosure, Brian and I have discussed this over a beer. We did it <laughs> about 10 days ago. So I'm really excited about this. And, and I was just asking you, because we're talking about whales, and I was asking you if they're curious. Like, do they play? Yeah, well, whales are like us. They're yeah. social creatures. They're big-brained creatures. There's no doubt about it. When we're out in a zodiac, if the whale's in the mood and it's curious, it'll come over to check us out. Really? And we've had whales on various trips. I've been traveling to the Antarctic every year for the last 15 years. It's, I use a company called One Ocean, and it's all booked through Civilized Adventures here in Calgary. And we've developed quite a relationship with them. And, and I go down at different times of the year. This time, I went down specifically to see the whales. The whales are are coming into the shallower fjords at this time of the year. Towards, really? Yeah, as winter approaches. Is it, is it to mate or is it to... It's, it's to finish their final feeding. It's fattening oh, up. Oh, okay. Whales, okay. A, a humpback whale, for instance, weighs 40 tons, but they gain 10 tons of that weight during the short Antarctic summer. Really? That short Antarctic summer, they come down, they leave their, their wintering areas where they basically are not feeding at all, and they come back down into the Antarctic. I know you always come with great video, and here yes. it is here. Look yes. at this. Well, there's, this is just last month, and we, we, we saw lots of penguins. It was after the penguin breeding season. This is the Gentoo penguin, and these are all goofball <laughs> youngsters that had just left the beach, I think, probably for the first time. But our focus was on whales, and One Ocean always has some scientists along with us. This time we had five scientists, three from the United States and, and two from Australia. Look at this. This whale is coming over, Ted. You were just asking. Yeah. Do they get curious? This guy was curious. He came over to our ship as we were loading Zodiacs and, and bringing people in from having a Zodiac excursion. <laughs> and the whale was just lolling. It, it was like, lazy. Exactly. It was like he was lying on the beach. It was <laughs> like he was showing off. Now, this is how we do it. We have Zodiacs that we, we uh, take and we, we uh, sling over the side of the ship. We can launch a dozen Zodiacs in a very short period of time. Everybody loads. And then this particular day, I went off with the whale researchers. So I had a chance. To, to do something I've always wanted to do and see what he's working with there. He's yeah. got a crossbow. He's going to be collecting a piece of, of uh, flesh from the whale oh, really? to do a DNA sample. So here he is pulling the crossbow. Now he's sitting there waiting. You can see the weather has kind of closed in on us there. We were operating with our GPS. We couldn't see the mothership at this point. Uh, but there's, there's the whale. So all we have to do is find a whale and then get it in the right position. Now, that was a young whale in the foreground there, a baby. The one in the background was their target whale. They wanted to get a DNA sample. That way they can test to see if she's pregnant. They can look at her health. They can uh, also see if there's any toxicity in her flesh. So here she is now coming in close. And now the whale comes up and it presents a perfect That's arrow. Awesome. So you, got, you could actually hear the, 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 uh, the, the, the uh, arrow hit the whale yeah. and then it bounces out. And it takes just a, a little flesh sample right down into the blubber. And that way they can analyze that back in the lab. So you can see how they're handling. That's great. The, it, and, you know, the whales, they, they've got all kinds of scratches over their bodies and barnacles and things like that. Uh, this would be like a mosquito bite, I think. But there's <laughs> definitely a reaction when the arrow hits. But it's not really a negative reaction. Sometimes, like this whale, they come over and check out, what did you guys just do? <laughs> and, and here he is. I've got my, my GoPro, and I stuck the GoPro nice. in and followed the whale under the water. Uh, and the whales sometimes come right over and check us out. You can see the eyeball just above the back of the mouth there and uh, checking us out. And they also brought a drone. And the drone was, is used now as a, a tool to look at the health of whales. And here's the drone operator, one of the scientists, and he's looking at the whale and flying over the whale. Here we are coming up to it right here. And this gives a chance to compare mothers and calves. Oh, and they've got, wow. they've got a, a ratio that they use to look at body thickness and body weight. And so they can, they can test for fitness by looking at this. That's amazing. And, and then when they come into pods like this, Ted, they can actually look at behavior. You can see the huge pectoral fins. They're about, uh, they can be three meters in length. But look what's happening here. That's what the drone reveals. We could never see that from our perspective yeah. in the Zodiac. Uh, but that whale just turned on its side, opened up its mouth, and took in a small swimming pool full of water to uh, then squish out the water and back swallow the krill. There it is right there. Curious, coming right over to the Zodiac as the researchers were positioning. That's amazing. It is absolutely phenomenal. And all these whales are coming in. We were seeing whales every day. When we 
we crossed the Drake Passage. We had a good crossing. It wasn't that rough. Yeah. As soon as we got to the Antarctic continent, we started to see whales. Right away, we had about 15 or so killer whales. And then we had uh, a number of, of say whales and fin whales, which are some very, very big, very sleek open ocean whales. And they were there feeding as well on the krill. And then once we got into the Antarctic proper along the peninsula, we started to see whales every day. Amazing. Thank you. As always, <laughs> world adventurer Brian Keating, Andy, always comes in with killer video.